Okie dokie. Let's see that. All right. So plan for this video is in our on shape in our single uh, file or document that has all of the pieces at the bottom here. Um, still not sure how we're going to do the assembly. And, uh, but we'll get to that. Um, like this. All right. With that's our base. All right, so remember that you are doing all of your original designs. I'm just giving you some um, basics, okay? And remember that one of the requirements is that you have the same base for all of the pieces, like the first quarter inch or half inch, so that they look the same. And the easiest way to do that is to have one of your tabs just be the base. And then instead of changing anything, you do make a copy, um, which you do by doing copy to clipboard, um, delete the properties, duplicate. And so that gave me this one. And I'm going to rename it to the one we're going to do today, which is Rook. And even if you don't have any experience in chess, that's fine. You still can figure this out. The uh, requirement is that the total height of the Rook is 3.25 inches. And that includes the base. So. Um, Let's look at what one looks like. So the rook is this piece in the corner or that starts in the corner. And it uh, traditionally have some sort of um, crenellation is what that's called when it's on the edge on the wall of a castle, uh, of an actual castle. Uh, and... We're going to try and recreate that. We're going to use a circular pattern if Onshape has one and some other flourishes and make sure our total height is three and a quarter. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is, um, I need to get rid of that base or the uh, task bar. So we have our tabs down here. Um, this one is called pawn. Let's just rename this. Uh, so all the only ones we've done so far are pawn and bishop, pawn and bishop, and you can see they have the same base. We haven't done king yet. I've made the copy and the first step, but uh, we're going to do rook. So the easiest way to do this, if you are doing the single file for the base and making copies is to leave the sketch from the base in sketch mode and not do the revolve yet so that when you make the duplicate you get here it's still a sketch and then edit this sketch rather than do a revolve in a second piece because for some reason it is accepting it as like a second part file and we had that issue and I don't know why we had that issue in the mini train straight track where that one that one uh sort of nub part that stuck out was not being accepted as the same um part and was doing a weird assembly thing but either way from here, I want to make a line that goes straight up. And I want the total height between this total height part and the base of everything to be three and a quarter. 
and I need to make sure my entire design is within that. Okay, um, in order to make that part that sticks out, you could either uh, make it solid and then do a circular cut straight down, like a few of the shapes from the green sheet, or you can make it make sort of everything except for the circular pattern. Like you could make it uh, like this. Let's go. I think, did I? I don't want to delete everything here. Um, make it like solid and then, uh, or make it just that shape, whatever feels um, more natural for you. I'm going to do it solid. I think it'll be easier to change if I don't like it. And this again is sort of your design. And I think it's gonna look good like that. Put a circle here and then another arc. And I'm not gonna dimension any of these because I wanna be able to adjust it. So I'm gonna finish sketch, do my revolve, choose all of the things. I don't really need to choose that inside part, but that's fine. And then choose my revolve axis as this. And let's see what we got. Um, that's not terrible. In fact, I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to make this first rectangle a little taller and drag everything down. So I'm going to... Um, what happens if we delete this? Yeah, delete, right click, delete the revolve. So it goes back to sketch. You don't want to edit a sketch with the revolve uh, completed because the revolves kind of get angry. So you're better off deleting the revolve and just editing the sketch that the revolve was based on. And I'm going to drag this down and drag this down because it's going to. Uh, I don't like that double curve. I'm going to go ahead and delete all that and do one arc. Then this is just a design choice. And let's put this about there. I just kind of like that ridge. Although most of the design stuff here is kind of zigzaggy. Maybe that doesn't make sense. Either way, we'll do revolve. We'll choose all the things and choose the revolve axis. And the revolve axis is the center there. And let's go with that. Uh, it's actually worse the other way. But um, so this is good for our start. Let's do a circle cut extrude here, which if I want these. Um, slot parts to be to have like a little ridge i need this first circle cut to be a little deeper than i want the ridges but that's all right let's go ahead and sketch on the top look at it from the top i need to use and click on any one of these circles so that i get that uh, center point to snap to which wasn't there a second ago and we'll circle and this is the edge of the top. I want it to be a little bit thinner than that. Okay, and we'll finish sketch, extrude, choose that, switch it to remove. And I don't want to remove all the way down in there. I want to be about the height of that other part and hit okay. Okay. And next, I want to do one of the little slots here. Um, and I could do it to all of the slots in a single sketch and then cut extrude all of them. But I think I'm going to make one of them and then pattern it, um, do a circular pattern. I think that'll work better. So let's do a sketch, start a sketch here. And again, I need uh, something to snap onto. So I'm going to use, click on the use. 
And then anything circular here will give me that point to sketch to. And the shape of this cutaway um, is sort of a wedge starting from the center out. And we may have to come back and uh, fix that. Okay, so that's what I have right there. Let's see if I finish the sketch. Will it let me extrude? Yeah, there we go. And switch it to remove. And I want it to be less tall. That's the way of saying it. Then the depth of that other cut, which I may want to go back and shorten anyway. And um, yeah, that's all right. Okay, so we have one of these extrusions. Let's see what we've got for pattern. So we don't want a linear or rectangular pattern. We want a circular pattern. And we want to pattern extrusion two entities to pattern extrusion. Well, let me select it here. Um, and axis of pattern. Hmm. Let's see, let's try this again. Okay, pattern, circular, wait, curve pattern? Entities to pattern, sketch, hmm. pass to pattern along, entities to pattern. Uh, let's... Why won't it let me? Oh yeah, there we go. All right. so. Let's see what happens if we do this correctly. Um, I guess it is, why wouldn't it be circular pattern? And entities to pattern, axis of pattern. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it was working, it just, all right. So if you have the default as two instances spread out 360 degrees, you won't be able to see it because it'll be the thing that you're patterning and its first location is on top of itself. So um, let's change the instant count to like six and see what that looks like. So entity to pattern is this cut right here. And then we have to choose the axis of pattern, which we don't have origin axes. We can just choose anything that's circular. And there you go, we can see six of them. And if we hit okay, if we hit OK, but, um, oh, remove, that's what we want. No, we don't want that. OK, let's try again. Let's delete this circular pattern, entity to pattern. But no, I don't want to entity. Maybe it is curve pattern. Because I don't want to. Hmm. All right, let's try this in sketch mode. Okay, so back here, before I finish the sketch, um, I can. Let's let's trim this. No, nope, not that. Let's all right. Um, how does this work? Let's see if we can circular pattern. Let's 
doesn't make any sense. All right, hold on a second, because I know we did it in the mini train. Um, sorry about this. Uh, on shape is not working I, ideally. So let's go to wheel and Okay, I think it needs to be a an enclosed situation in order to work. So let's try this again. Uh, okay, chess set and rook, and we're still in sketch. How do we... All right, I'm gonna start this sketch over from the beginning and it will make more sense that way. I think I've got this. All right, so we've got just this much. We're gonna start a sketch on the top surface here and we're going to use the both circles, um, clicking on this inside edge and outside edge so that we have something to snap to. And we need a line from the center straight out to snap to the outside. And it doesn't have to snap exactly to horizontal, but it might help. And I need to be able to trim, there we go. Okay, so because it snapped there, it will let me trim this inside, which I'll do in a second. I need a, another line that goes from here to the outside. And we will trim both of these. Then we can circular pattern these two things. And there we go. It's already figured out that I want um, Oh, OK. So here. I want, I'm gonna double click on this. Is that gonna give me, yeah. Let's see what six looks like. And we can finish sketch. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have that sketch. Let's choose the parts we wanna cut out, which are, I made six of them, so it's every other one. There we go. We'll switch it to remove. And the distance I want to remove all of these is less than that part that's in the back there and hit okay, and there we go. I'm not crazy about it. I think the gaps probably need to be smaller. Let's go back to this part. Um, it, uh, can I redo? Yeah, redo. Well, let me edit the sketch. All right, well, I guess it won't let me redo that. Um, let's see if we can move this. Why can't I move that? That's weird. All right, well, I guess we're going to leave it that way. On shape is not super cool with adjusting things. And we'll switch it to remove. And if you're not doing precise distances for things, feel free to grab the uh, arrow there to adjust and hit OK. And I guess we can turn off the visibility of origin now. And that is an example of a rook. Remember, you're doing your own designs 
which uh, can be based on traditional designs um, like these, but they don't have to be. But if they are based on traditional designs like the ones I'm showing you, make sure they are um, original. Okay, that's it for that. And let me know if you have any questions.